Roy here with more crafting shenanigans, and I'm making another addition to the post-apocalyptic arcade, a classic room-filling form of sporting entertainment, the pool table. Now, pool, snooker, billiards, whatever. It's a game not unlike baseball or cricket, where you continuously hit with a big stick balls. Last man standing wins or something. I don't know. I would know how to play. Too busy crafting here to entertain you ungrateful lot. So, I started this project with card and traced a battery to make a net, which was later packed with corrugated card to bulk it out. Then, used our trusty hole punch, ah, it's a gift that keeps on giving, that one, to make the center of a table and pockets on a larger piece of card. After which, created a curved frame, also out of card, and thickened it with some old wooden stirrers. The pool cues themselves were made of a single cocktail stick, cut in half, and then filed down to a fine point. The triangle is made of card, and the plastic ball is from the pump of a spray bottle. There's a video all about the dissection of a pump mechanism from old spray bottles and soap dispensers. Those things are a treasure trove of bits to us crafters. Now, unfortunately, the table was a bit uneven, a problem that it isn't actually uncommon with actual pool tables. So, I did the same thing that you used to sort out that problem. You adjust the feet. But my table was lacking feet, so I created some using some hold punch outs just to balance it out. To cover and tidy the gaps on the corners at the top of the table again, I added more card. During the painting process, I figured, hmm, it's still missing something. And then, BAM! Table chalk. So I stretched some plastic sprue to make some tiny little cubes. They were too fiddly though, so I said to myself, bugger this for a barrel of laughs. So I got a whole bunch of soft pastels recently, and I figured, why not use actual chalk? So I chipped off some pieces and glued them on, whilst adding a little bit to the ends of the cubes. You know, that nice little finishing touch. And that's it. Pretty simple build overall when you break it down and should be right at home in a rec room, pub or arcade setting. Oh, I tire of you people. So as Critical Drinker would say, go away now. And mm, 